Figure out this line. <laughs> wow! Wow! Look at that. What have we got? Okay. Ooh. Look at that wallpaper. That is something else. Fe uh, feathers, I think. Big bed, no problems. Mirror. G'day. Um, fridge, which is nice. We don't always get a fridge. Safe. Window. No, barrier, no balcony, but we've got a window. Not much happening out there, but anyway, it's a window nonetheless for some natural light. Let's suss out the bathroom. Bathroom in here. This one here. Oh, oh that fan comes up. So there's a bathroom, toilet, beautiful shower, lovely tile work, and that's it. So this is um, 90 euro for two nights. Not too bad. So this is in uh, Sorrento. Um, the name of the place, I'll tell you later on. So this is the bricky room. Got a nice view. Look at the view out here. Very. Very. Nice. Sorry? It's a nice view, yeah? It's a beautiful view. Oh, it is Sant'Antonio, the mountain. Uh-huh. It's of Sant'Antonio. Sant'Antonio. You can see a tiny little white cross up that hill there. Well, that's one of my missions for today. A lot of steps. I'll find out roughly how many in an hour or so. Should be challenging but rewarding. Well, I'm on a walk. I'm trying to get to where that cross was that I was talking about earlier on when I was having brekkie. Um, this is the view at the moment. I'm not certain, but I'm hoping that if I continue on up these stairs, we may get to it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So I've come to a fork in the road. <clears throat> and not the first time in my life. This one certainly doesn't look like it gets a whole lot of use. This one here is the kind of steps I've been going up thus far. So I'll take the easier route. We'll see how it goes because there's a power line up there and I know that it is very close to the large power line. So I'm I will go this option. Wish me luck. Well, that's a welcome sight up in the middle there. Uh, gee, some low cloud. I'm actually above some of the cloud now. We'll continue on, not too far to go. Okay, I've reached the church. Unfortunately, I'm being greeted by locked gates um, and doors. Anyway, there's some stairs to climb a bit further up this way. Let's have a gander. Well, this is the white cross that I was aiming for when I was having my breakfast. So I've made it up to here. Can't get into the church, it's all locked up. That's it, just down there. But she's been a pretty decent old view, though a lot of cloud around at the moment. I'm on another little path here, not sure where it goes. But we'll find out, won't we? It's a good day for a walk, it's overcast. You can see this low cloud hanging around the mountains and what have you. Beautiful view over part of the city. Sirens going off, which is typical of European cities. Um, couldn't get into the church, but nonetheless, I'll walk back down the steps and we'll um, go and venture some more. I'm going to head out towards the beach, or the marina and what have you, which is down this way, and uh, check out the town. She's a good little spot. This is Sorrento. 
And so now it's a matter of heading back down the steps. A little bit slippery in spots. You've just got to be careful and sort of grip with your toes. We continue on our way. Along the pathway they have these images uh, depicting the Stations of the Cross. Jesus on his way up to be uh, crucified. So uh, quite a nice little bit of artwork. Um, just starting to drizzle a bit. I'm on my way down now. So hopefully it just doesn't get any worse than that. Because <laughs> uh, these steps are mossy and dirty and uh, wet and slippery. Get a load of this tree. What a beauty. What a beauty. Very nice indeed. Yes. I don't know what it is. Doesn't really matter. Well, the skies are clearing, fortunately. Been into the museum and the, a lot of the clouds gone. Not over the ocean there, yeah, but a nice sun rays coming out of this one. Now this town seriously embraces Christmas and Christmas lights. It's uh, very, very impressive. Have a look at this Christmas tree. He, he is a cracker. Look at that. Wow. Musical Christmas tree. It's fantastic. Fantastic. Can't beat a good barbie, and this <laughs> is fantastic. So we're going for a, uh, I'm not sure what, uh, ingresso I think is entry. Love the smell of a barbie, so I'm, I'm just going in. It's on a panini. There's a bit of green goes with it. We'll just figure it all out as we go along, but uh, it smells that good. It's got a taste good. Okay, I had to jump back in the queue because uh, they don't take cash, they just take tickets. So it costs three euro for this little baby. Oh no, please. Broccoli. Sure. No. That's it. Broccoli it is. And sausage. Here we go. Oh, vino. Is vino with it? Hello, boys. It might be a vino as well. Hello. What is this one? Vino. Wine. Wine. No red wine? No red vino? I better have aqua. Gracias. I love broccoli, it's one of my favourites. But it's not really working <coughs> on the barbecue so well. It's good, but it's a bit bitter. Um, I think the Aussie onion is probably the way to go. Sausage is good, bread's fantastic, nice and crunchy. Um, a bit dry, which is how I don't mind it actually. But um, at the end of the day, still a tasty food. Three euro. Happy to <laughs> Happy days, but they're popular. There are so many people eating it all around the joint, as you may be able to see. Um, yeah, cool. It's going well. So red are all right. They've got all these market stalls, food stalls down here. And this is easily the best smelling one of the lot. Licorice. Oh. Sens <laughs> Sensational. There you go, Terra della Licorizia. 6.50 euro for this beer. Not bloody cheap. I think it was... That one through there, I think. There you go. It's not a bad drop, but holy crap. <laughs> Get 
ready for St. Patrick's Day, early. This may be the tightest um, staircase ever. This is the way to the toilet. I'm actually going up from the toilet. So this is my pina colada. I just asked him what times it normally sort of get going, and he's, he said 11. It's 9.30 now, so I'm a bit early. I was in my room last night. I could hear this music pounding out. And I thought, well, I'd better go and check this joint out. It's called... Uh, it's called Shot... It's called Shot Bar. Shot Bar. But, uh, yeah, I'm a bit early. I'll be shot before anyone else gets here. <laughs> limoncello. Shot Bar. Chill out here on my papillon, there's no other bugger here at the moment. See how it all pans out. I've got a bottle of Jack back in my room. So yeah. Well, I was talking about that uh, smell from the licorice um, place there last night, so I thought I'd better uh, have a crack. So here we go. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Firm. Chewy, tasty. Excellent. Right, I'm trying to walk down to this uh, harbour. <clears throat> so through the tunnel we go, which is handy because it's just starting to drizzle a bit. Churches, they're still ornate and pretty. Yeah. Regular statues and the like, of course. Yeah. These critters here existing in harmony, but mind you, they are eating, so they're pretty happy with that at the moment. Pigeon's just trying to wait for some scraps. decided to catch the lift down to the beach. It's a long way down, so I'll put it down. And I think I'll probably walk back. We'll see. We'll see about that, see how that pans out. But it is a long way down. And in... No, open. It was open, please. Thank you. Oh, really? Didn't take me anywhere. Unbelievable. That was a waste. Oh, man. It appears they're not working. Just in case you were wondering, there you go, there's the story. Now we know. Merry Christmas, Santa. <laughs> No shortage of Chrissy lights in town. She really looks a treat. So the 
young lady here asked, would I like a small beer or a large beer? I told her I'm from Australia. She said, well, that'll be large. And this is what I've ended up with. Never seen it before. Flash looking bottle. Um, not a bad looking, uh, not a bad tasting beer either. Good job.